So I was just going to mention how I think my hair is doing. I've been making a few videos about how to get your hair really defined and curly, um, how to help your hair stay curlier longer. Um, you're not going to have to wash it every day with this technique or with these techniques. Um, how to be able to sleep on it and refresh it so you're not having to completely re-wet your head every day or re-shower it every day. Um, everything that I've been showing you with the products, washing with the conditioner instead of a sulfate shampoo and everything is going to be healthier for your scalp and your hair. Um, it's going to reduce um, the itchiness or the dryness that a lot of people will get otherwise. So there's definitely good things about it. Now, everybody's type of curl is different, and everyone's hair type is different. You can have um, hair with um, maybe higher or lower um, moisture content. You know, it's, it's, it could be drier on some people than other people. Um, it could be a thinner strand or um, thicker strand. You can have um, less hair, meaning thinner hair, or fuller hair um, with more hair. And just depending on the porosity of your hair or the protein levels and all those other things, you may find that certain products don't work as well for you. Um, other products may work better for you. Um, there's a lot of different products that you can use that are still good for your hair um, that don't have the alcohols, that don't have the silicones and, and all of that. So I just wanted to mention that. Now for me, for my hair, I feel like it's doing okay with what I've been using. Um, but I would like to try and omit the um, coconut oil step. I, I pretty much intended that to only be like a deep conditioning step just because I thought my hair needed some extra moisture at that time. Um, but I'm going to admit that step um, the next time. So I'll just use the leave-in conditioner, the Tresemme Undone, and just really squish that in and try just leaving it that way. Um, with no gel or no Lulu stuff or anything like that um, and see how it does. So I'll be showing you that in a video here coming up. Um, I also think that the technique may work better to not mix the, the lubricant and the conditioner together and apply all at once just because um, you want the shape of the hair to kind of form first and partially dry before you put the gel on. I'm kind of feeling like that that will help me um, get a better cast. Uh, and remember the cast is important because it creates that crunchiness on your hair and when you have that crunchiness on there it seals in the frizzies, it seals in the moisture um, and it also sets the curl. And then later when it's completely dry you crunch out um, you scrunch out the crunch is what it's called and then it, it's, it leaves it soft. It's totally fine. You don't have to worry about that. Um, right now as far as my hair feels, um, it has almost like a slightly oily feeling to it as though maybe my hair was oily. I don't naturally have oily hair. Um, there's been a few times in my life where I've developed a little bit of oil because I went too long to wash it or or something maybe I was really sweaty so it kind of has a little bit of an oily feel so that's why I think that maybe I need to reduce the coconut oil um, when I was applying the product on my hair though the other night I thought oh maybe I'll use less than three or four globs or whatever um, and I tried to use just two and it was I really needed I could tell I needed at least three or four globs on there so um, I think that that step is okay that I still need that on my hair. It's just the coconut oil that I need to take out and then that'll reduce the grease. Um, I also have been trying a new hairspray. It, it is the air spray I've been showing you, the air Pantene air spray, but that's new for me. I was used to using a different kind of hairspray that was actually a spritz and I feel like I can apply it a lot better. I don't like the aerosol. Um, so I'm going to probably uh, change my hairspray as well. Um, so anyway, so those are a couple ideas. I just wanted to kind of mention what I was thinking about that and, and really explain and, you know, and be honest. Um, but like I was saying, 
Everybody's hair is different. You may find that some products work a little bit better for you than others, and that's okay. So I just wanted to tell you how my hair is working. I'll tell you, this is day one. Um, I also slept on it when it was still a little bit wet, so it's not as fluffy as it should be or would normally be. It's a little more messy than it wa uh, would be. Um, as far as the feel, I mean, when you just touch like this, it, it feels fine. It doesn't feel oily. It's just kind of at my scalp when I rub my fingers in. Um, it looks clumped together and separated, but that's really what we want. You know, it, 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 the curls look more thick and, and full and separated and everything. <clears throat> that may not be a look that you prefer. Um, I actually like it a lot to have my hair more fluffy. And I'm, I've am i worn it more wavy a lot uh, of the time in my life. And, you know, people still think that's beautiful too. I mean, there's all different types of curls or waves or styles. And you don't have to feel like you need to have your hair separated like this. Um, you can have it more fluffy. You might feel like this looks greasy even though it touch, uh, feels soft. So you do what you think is best for your hair, but realize that the products that you use are important. Um, you're going to get your best kind of hair if you use products that have no sulfate, um, only good alcohols. There's actually some that are okay to use, so I can be more specific on that in another video. Um, omit silicones, anything that ends with the word cone in it. No wax, no petroleum, stuff like that that's going to build up on your hair. Um, so, so that's something that's great to remember. I'll go ahead and turn around because now that my hair has dried, it does look a little different. I have been kind of playing with it and fluffing it out just a little bit more. Um, so you can, you can get an idea. I mean, I'm still happy with the way it looks, especially compared to what it was doing. Uh, I am spending just a little bit more time on it though. Um, so I have to kind of decide whether or not I want to continue doing so many steps. Maybe, you know, I won't use the diffuser all the time. Maybe I won't use all the hairspray all the time or something. And that's fine. I don't have to make it exactly the same every day. Um, but you can see how it looks. It's really nice and uniform today. There's lots of little different layers and hairs curling around and sticking up. Um, so, so I'm happy with it. I kind of want to run my fingers through it right now and just show you um, how much poofier it can get if you really, I guess I will. I mean, my hair is not as curly as some people's would be, um, so I can do this without getting my hair, my fingers stuck in my hair. <laughs> so I just run my fingers through it, and then I'm going to get a lot more body, and it's going to ultimately get a little bit softer too, just if that's what you want. If I wasn't intending on having um, those separated curls, you know, and I just wanted it fluffy, then why go and run my fingers through it, you might ask. Well, um, I think that it's still worth it because it helps to get the body. I mean, look at this. Okay, so I fluff both ways, and now it's a little crazy, but that's okay. You might want a little more of a free, a free look. Sorry, <laughs> I should have. I was taping my phone to the mirror the other day, and that helped a lot. So, so you know, this this to me feels a little bit more fun, a little bit more crazy. I'll show you the back. Let's see if I can do this here. I don't know if I got it poofy right here. Sometimes you have to go and... Of course, I can't see what it looks like, so I have no idea what I just did to my hair, but... <laughs> Might as well experiment, right? And show you new things and, and try a few new things. And the other thing about curly hair is, you know, you got to learn to just let it kind of do its thing. You know, it's one thing that was hard for me over the years. I like to just nitpick and fix this piece and that piece, and you can't always do that. I mean, sometimes you can use a little pin here and there if you want it to, or you can rat a little piece here or there. But those curls are going to do what they want, and that's the beautiful thing about curls. And just enjoy them. <laughs> And, you know, you get to feel a little more carefree and a little more 
wild at times and and that's why people love curls because you know maybe they're too uh, serious and they're jealous they need to play more or something I don't know have fun play with your hair play with your curls um, let it down let it just do its thing and enjoy it all right have a great day